Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Micah, welcome to my hobby channel, Floating in Dreams, where I like to talk about all things fashion and makeup, and as you can see, we're coming from the bedroom, and I'm standing next to my rail, which features a lot of my dresses, so we're doing fashion today. And I had the ambition to do a video where I tried on all of my dresses for you, and as I was sort of preparing for this video, I realized that that was never going to happen because I just have too many and it would, t it would just take me an entire weekend to film that for you guys. So that's why I thought that instead of showing everything on, I will be going through my entire dress collection with you, but at the same time we'll be doing a bit of a declutter because I just have way too many. So that's why I thought we could do that. I will throw some of them on if I'm undecided, if I don't know if they still fit me. And my tastes in terms of dresses have definitely changed over the years. I am someone who really got into dresses, I think almost a decade ago now. In like 2013 and 2014, the only thing I would wear to work was a dress. And that's how I ended up with so many. And definitely a lot of these dresses also go back to those times. But since my ch uh, tastes have changed, like as you will see in this first rail, there's quite a lot of stuff that's just above the knee. And I tend to prefer something that's more of a midi length on me nowadays. So I've been definitely buying more dresses that are longer. This I got in the winter sale from Monkey. It's a very thin, loose dress that you could wear in the summertime. Um, and I really like the sleeve on this one. And it's got a really pretty floral design. And that's another thing you will see when we go through all of my dresses. I have very few like solid dresses. As you can see here, there's a lot of print. So that's one of the reasons why I struggle getting rid of dresses is because this is where the fun injection in my wardrobe just is and where that lives. Um, but I do have to, I think, take some decisions whether I still want to keep things, whether I still want to wear things. Um, that's definitely something I want to do and I thought I could film that for you. So instead of me trying everything on, we, we, still, we still be going over every single dress in my collection for sure, uh, in my wardrobe, but we're gonna we're gonna call some too. So the way I'm going to be going through this video is that I'm going to section it off per rail. So I have the first rail already prepared for you. This is like my casual day dresses. And this is what I definitely have most of in a single category. We will also be going over like summer dresses that are like height of summer, like spaghetti strap things. Then we'll also go over all of my midi and maxi dresses. We'll go over all of my skater dresses. Everything in here is also kind of skater dress-ish. Uh, but this like fit and flare style is one of my favorites to wear, so I have quite a lot of those. And I think I do want to keep all of those because it's like my favorite, like for my body type, it's what works best. Um, so I think in here is probably what I can get rid of the most. And the last category I have for you are my winter, fall winter dresses. So dresses that I would wear exclusively in like the cooler months. These I can sort of wear year round. So I've got, I definitely have dresses that I only wear when it's really warm. And then I have sort of like my skater dresses, day dresses, and my maxi dresses, where I sort of have a mix of things and then I have actual winter dresses that I really won't wear any other time of the year. So let's start with reel number one, which is my casual day dresses. And we're gonna get started with, I think these are both Zara, um, and they're almost identical. <laughs> they're Broderie Anglaise, uh, white dresses. This is very blown out, so let me turn that to brightness a bit. So I think this way you can see them a bit, or, a bit better. Uh, so they're very similar, but one doesn't have a collar and the other does. And this is more like an eyelet detail, and then it has a bit of a drop waist, and then it has these black sort of like sashes off to the side. This is one that I haven't worn yet, and the reason why I haven't worn it is because it's quite thick, and it's quite formal on and so it's more like it's casual it's too casual for it to really be occasion wear but it is more of a, like a dressy occasion for the casual days so i think i have an occasion to go to actually in the next week so i may want to put this in a bag and take it with me because i have a graduation ceremony to get to and then this is a dress i got last year it's got a puff sleeve and then it really has a very pretty broderie anglaise with like this floral design to it. Another like ruffle hem. And this is an A-line fit. Both of them are a bit A-line. And I really like that sometimes when I just don't want anything clinging to my body. So this is another one I can't get rid of. I really like investing in like one or two broderie, broderie anglaise pieces every, every year. 
and this has been one of them and I think this is another lovely dress it's just it's one I bought during lockdown last year and that's why I haven't worn it yet I'm gonna have to speed through these these are also not gonna go this I featured in a uh, this is an ASOL dress, ASOL's dress I featured in a video in the winter time saying I didn't know how to style this up but then I sort of figured it out in that video so this is a polka dot number um, this is again like that fit and flare style and it is really nice and the next dress I have here is a mint and berry dress that is like a 40s retro inspired pleated skirt dress it's got a shirt front and then it just has that color block of the cream at the top and the sagey green at the bottom I've owned this dress for years now but I like whipping it out ever so often um, and because it's sleeveless I do also feel I can wear this in the fall winter season with a cardigan over top and then we've got a section of yellow here this really bright lemony yellow dress from H&M that I've had for years I want to keep because I really like the shade of it and this shade is currently really hot and happening so it's a, again a dress I already owned when I still worked in Amsterdam and that was like eight years ago, so that's a really old dress, but I still like it. And then I also want to keep this monkey dress, which is this polka dot, dot number. It's a mustard yellow that I like to wear more so in the fall winter season. I like to wear this with a black cardigan over top. And then I think I'm, I am going to get rid of this. I did feature this in a recent video. Um, it's a Zara dress that I call my Frida Kahlo dress, but it is just I don't know. This is one of those dresses that if you've worn it once or twice, everybody will just recognize it because it's so out there. And I don't really see myself wearing anything else. So I'm going to put it off to the side. At the end, I'm going to reevaluate everything that I decide to declutter. Something that I just have to declutter is this dress because this is, this is, this is one of those things where I was like, I shouldn't have kept it in the first place. And the reason why I should not have kept this dress isn't because it's leopard print, because I love leopard print. It's an H&M dress, but the reason why I'm going to declutter it is because the waistline is just, it's not right for me. And another thing that I, I did do when I tried this on was that I belted it, making it a lot more flattering, but it doesn't have a, a good collar. It, it's collarless. The sleeves have the wrong length for me. It doesn't have a very flattering like layer underneath it either. And I don't really like how like the leopard print kind of gets distorted in these different ruffle patterns at the t at the bottom. So this is definitely one that I know for sure can go. This is a difficult one. This is a Vila dress that I've had for years. It ha again has that color block of something lighter at the top and then a darker floral print at the bottom. The print is actually the same. It's just printed on a different base. And I've always loved this dress a lot. It's got these really big pleats and it has like neon pinky orangey flowers. I do really still like this. I'm not sure if this fits though. So this is one that I may have to try on. This is quite new to me. This is actually a silk purchase from this winter and this is from Glamorous. And it's a little bit more of like a 60s style. So this is a style I'm currently really experimenting with. So that one I wanna keep. And then we have this dress. This is from Topshop and this is a tartan print A-line dress that I love used to love in the fall winter season but truth be told i haven't worn this in a while i think i've just kind of outgrown it and it's quite short so that's why again i want to try this on to see if it still fits me really well that might sway me because i don't want to get rid of things just for the sake of getting rid of things but this one i do want to give a try because i tend to wear this in the fall time with tights and a, and a cardigan on top so then it, i might be able to get away with it this red gingham number from zara is lovely for right now actually so this is a good one to keep so the next dress is from h m and this is from their petite range i'm like the only person on youtube talking about that range and this dress was exclusive to that range um, and I really like it. It is, again, quite a bold statement. It has that mod vibe to it. and has this really lovely geometric print uh, that's a bit like Escher-like, which I do really like. So this is one I want to keep. And this purple dress is so old. I have had this for years. Oh, uh, I, I remember wearing this. Like This was one of the dresses that I bought very early on in my dress journey. It's from Pieces or Only, I think. It is a really lovely shade. But I may have to just try it on. It is this like satiny feel like faux wrap style dress. I remember it being very flattering on, but again, I'm not sure about the length. So have to try it on. And this next purple dress can be called the replacement of that other purple dress. This is from Zara. I got it last year. It's this jacquard like woven fabric. It's also very sort of shiny and silky. 
feeling. It's got a zipper down to side and then it just has this really deep V with the buttons down to front. So I don't think I need to keep both. So this I definitely want to keep because it's newer. This dress I bought from ASOS. I believe it's from Closet. Yes, it's from Closet London. And this is sort of like if I need a dress that's a bit more dressy. Um, but I don't want to go full on occasion dress. I tend to wear this. I just love the design of this. It's got a sash. It's got the pleats. I believe it even has pockets. And then it just has this gorgeous, gorgeous print. Uh, so this, I've got a, a couple of other closet dresses that, that are coming up. I can't get rid of those. Now this was a sale purchase last year from H&M. It's a lilac dress. It's a bit blown out, I do apologize. But I think I'm going to get rid of this because I just felt it wasn't super flattering on. And I have another lilac dress that I feel is much more perfect for me. But one of the reasons why I like this was this like laser cut sort of design. And I remember owning quite a few dresses like this. So I may want to try this on because I don't have a lilac dress like this. But do I really need two lilac dresses? I probably don't, but I'll try it on. This dress is for Monkey. This is not going anywhere. I really love this print. It's a shirt style dress. It has a sash to tie it in around the waist. And it's really lovely, so that's not going anywhere. Um, oh, this is just ASOS. I thought it might also be closet. It's a wiggle dress, so maybe... Do I want to keep this? Hmm. I'm not sure about this print, actually. I think I can get rid of that one. That can go. Uh, but the one I want to keep is this. This is from Closet. I know that for sure. This is the sim same style to that dress where it's like more like a tulip skirt. So it kind of like sits around your hips like that and then it tapers down towards your knees. It's got the sash. It's got pockets. And then it just has this like flip front. And I really love the design of this. It has a really nice blue, light blue background. And then it's really nice like almost paisley print kind of like blown out paisley print. It's got a Baroque feel, feel to it almost. It's really special. So that's together with the other closet dress. These are my like casual dresses that I can still wear to an occasion. You know what I mean? I love me a polka dot and this Zara number is really lovely, but it is a little bit small and it has been small ever since I bought it. And I feel I have other navy dresses that I like better. So this I'm going to have to compare to some of my other navy dresses and see if I still like those as well, uh, because this is also fit and flare. It does have the faux wrap, but it's always been a bit tight, like I mentioned. So this can probably go. Because I feel that this dress kind of does the same thing, because it's a faux wrap, but then it's got a mustard yellow polka dot from Mango, this one is. It's a bit longer as well, it's got fuller length sleeves, and this I have worn, and I, I think I bought the dresses around the same time, so this gets to stay. A Zara dress I am going to keep is this number. This is a shirt style uh, dress with a really nice like circle skirt and then just the most gorgeous Baroque floral design. This is lovely for the fall time. And this is another reason why I feel pretty good about getting rid of the ASOS dress because I actually got this dress from Warehouse in the ASOS sale I think last winter or last fall. And it's a really nice navy like leafy print design and it has a similar cut it just has a longer length and i think that's a bit more flattering on me right now it goes more with my aesthetic so i think this is a good replacement of the asos dress oh <laughs> this is tough i've got two monkey dresses here this is the first item i ever bought from monkey back when they were only stocked in selfridges and they weren't even for sale in holland that's how long i've had this dress and the reason why I keep this is because it has that bow detail at the front. Again, I need to try this on because I remember this being very short. And I do have <laughs> that style from Monkey that I love, just the long shirt style with the sash that you can just singe in at your waist. This has a really nice sharp collar and it's this really nice almost olive green, really lovely. These are dresses that I've had for years. These are some of my oldest dresses in my wardrobe. This is from H&M, this is from ASOS, and I like to wear these to dance events. Uh, I don't wear them out anymore. I solely wear them to dance parties because they are really comfortable because they both have a bit of stretch um, and they just are really comfortable for dancing in and I don't mind it if I get really sweaty in these. Now, and I was hoping that this dress would also fit into that category, but it is a polyester blend, so it's not the best. However, I love the print. This is Forever 21. 
Um, I'm not sure if this fits, and I remember it being quite short, so I need to try this on. And then we have this Zara dress. This is just one of those quick and easy dresses that I sometimes just like to throw on it around the house. Is it my favorite dress though? I don't know, but I don't have that many black dresses with like a floral base and I just like the green. It's this like Kelly bright green that you see everywhere right now. But again, this dress I've had for years. It was another Zara sale purchase. So this I'm going to keep. And then my latest dress purchase is this very basic H&M ripped bodycon dress. Now I don't tend to wear this out like by itself, but I do like wearing this with like a cardigan or a blazer over it if it's like really cold. Uh, this is These kind of dresses just keep me warm. So, and it's a really nice sturdy fabric. So I thought that, and it was only 10 euros. So this is a good staple to have. All right, so this is the Forever 21 dress. It's cute, but it's super short. And it won't close. Um, I can't. I think I can make it work. It's just that over the over the years, I've get, definitely gotten rid of a lot of my dresses with zippers in the back because we don't need that life. So this is the monkey dress. Again, way too short for my liking right now, and I can no longer close it. So that makes for a very easy decision. So this is that lilac H and M dress, but. I don't really feel the shape does anything for me, so I've answered my own question. I don't need to keep two lilac dresses if there's one that I really like and one that I just feel like a blob in. So this is that purple Vila dress. It looks a bit more burgundy on camera, doesn't it? I, I think this is still a good one. Like, so strange, right? This dress I've owned, like this is one of the oldest dresses in my wardrobe and it still fits so well. I really like this. Yes, I'm going to keep this one. So this is that A-line top shelf dress. Um, I thought it was shorter. In my brain, it was a lot shorter than it actually is. It's A-line, so it's like a bag <laughs> when you wear it. Um, so it's not too flattering, I feel. I just, I just know what it is. I've grown out of this. Like, this was really cool when I was in my 20s, but now that I'm in my 30s, this is just not me anymore. I'll stick to tartan style blazers and pants. That, that's more my vibe. I'll stick to that. All right, so this is what that Vila dress looks like. I like it, but I don't love it. I actually remember wearing this at the start of like right before we hit our first lockdown last year. So I think I wore this about a year and a half ago. Like it was one of the last dresses I wore before I had to work from home. Like I think I wore it that week. So I know this works really well on me. It's just, I think it would have been more flattering if the black would have been on top and the cream would have been at the bottom. So it's not perfect. And I don't think I really like the neckline. So this is gonna go. I've laid out another rail for you. I've got nine dresses that are on the chopping block, two maybes and seven definites. Uh, and we're now looking, going through sort of like my very height of summer kind of dresses, like when it's really super duper hot and like some more like day dresses, casual day dresses, but these are all skater dresses. They all are tea dresses. So they all have that fit and flare style. In the other reel, there were some other shapes there as well, but these are essentially all the same thing. So the question is, do I need to keep all of them? I have to say though, that especially in the skater dress department, since it's my favorite dress shape, I'm probably not going to get rid of too many. <laughs> but let's chat about the summertime dresses first. So I have this linen dress or cotton dress, I think it's cotton, from ASOS that I bought for super hot days. It's just this like shorter length. I only wear this around the house or on vacation, by the pool, that sort of thing. Um, I don't really wear this to work, but it's the best dress when it's super duper hot. Now, and this one I'm doubting <laughs> because this is another broderie on glaze dress and I already mentioned in my first rail that I do, do, tend to just invest in this. Um, every once in a while I tend to buy a few of these, but I remember trying this on in a recent video and that it was a little bit snug, I have to say. I can still make it work. It does have a fully lined skirt, but the bodice isn't. So I always feel I need to layer something underneath it. And I'm just a bit over sleeveless dresses, you could say. So I'm not sure if this is still me, but I think it can go another round. I can definitely get those stains out um, because I've got some stain remover, so I should just do that. And then I can definitely wear it again. 
Now this Zara number, black and white, or white and black, like polka dot number, uh, with this really wide open back. It's really lovely, it's just, it's polyester. It also has a fit and flare like skater dress style, and it's super duper low cut in this scoop neck. But this is just, it's not really my thing anymore, so this can go. And I think another like hot summer dress that can go, this is another one that I bought. Well, I did buy it in Germany. I'm not sure what it was, uh, whether it was on the same trip, but again, a dress I've had for years when it was super hot weather, I would wear this, but this has shrunken in the wash, so it's too short. And this I got last year, so this is a bit more my vibe right now. So this is a baby doll style dress in like this really pretty sage green shade. So it's a bit more covered up, but you can sort of wear it bardo style if you'd like to, or not if you don't want to. And it just has a sweetheart neckline and a bit of a ruffle, so I do want to keep that. Now this is another really old dress, and I kind of kept this H&M dress around for like really hot days where I have to go into work, and I need to look a little dressier. <laughs> so this is like my hot summer day dress, if I want to look more business casual. So that's what I have this for. I do still really like it though. It's H&M. I'm not sure if I already said it. It does look really nice on, so I'll keep that one for another round. And then I have this dress from Forever 21. It's cute, but I, I, I don't remember the last time I wore it, so I can get rid of that. Again, had it for years. And then we get to my new love and the reason why I can get rid of some of those dresses. Because in recent years, I invested in the maxi, well, midi, maxi, a uh, linen cotton blend dress from H&M. They've been doing this dress for the past four years. They're doing it again this year. So I have it in the lemon, I have it in the yellow, I have it in the leopard, and I've got it in the plain black. The leopard and the yellow I pulled from the wash, because those I actually wore when we had really hot weather. So these are now much better than those other dresses, so I don't need those anymore. And then I have one long sleeve number. Um, believe it or not, if it gets really hot, I sometimes just tend to cover up completely, and this is my favorite dress for that, so this is H&M. And then because I like those dresses so much, I bought myself this more expensive number. This has really nice like tassels, and then it has a shirt, like ruched bodice, and then it just has a cotton skirt. This is from Arquette. This is my one of my newest purchases as well. Um, I'll wear something like this over some of the other dresses I just got rid of, plus this is all cotton. The other ones are cotton linen blends. It's just super comfy when it gets hot. So now I think I've got a nicely curated thing going on for sure. Then I've got two pinafores. Both of these are going to stay. This one is Topshop. This one I think is H&M. Is it? Yes, it's H&M. So I've got a black corduroy one and I've got a denim one with a zip down the front. I like wearing these when I travel, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, this with a turtleneck, you've got a different outfit every single day, and if you don't get any stains on them, you can just rewear them every day. And now we're going to get to my favorite category, which is skater dresses. This is from Urban Outfitters, and I actually, now that I've pulled everything for my wardrobe, have found out that I own this dress once, twice, three times. Oh no, I've got it four times. This is essentially every single time it's the same dress but like a button down front and then it has a little tie in the back so you can give yourself a bit more of a waist. And this is just a really nice viscose little like floaty dress that you can just throw on in the fall time with a cardigan. In the spring they are cool enough to wear on hot, hotter days as well. So I've got it in the navy. I've got it in the light blue because I really wanted a light blue floral dress. Oh, even though I do feel this kind of looks like a nurse's outfit, I have to say. And then this little number, which is like a mint with a yellow floral design. Uh, this you saw in my one of my recent hauls. And then I've got the cream with the black as well with the black buttons down the front. I think that's really cute too. So then I need to ask myself, do I still need to keep this Topshop really old polka dot number? because this is a bit short and it's got a really weird stain on it. So the stain I can remove, I'm sure, has it had its heyday? Nah, I think I'm just going to remove the stain. I think, I think we're good. I'm just gonna throw it in the wash after this video. This I bought last year and I haven't had a chance to wear it out yet. This is H&M and I just love, like, I just, the floral print makes me happy. 
And because I like that one so much, I got this like almost square neckline uh, Miss Selvridge number. It's very similar. Got this off of ASOS, so that's fairly new. And then I have this Topshop number, which I've loved for years. It's like a really pretty florally design. Um, new to me is this monkey number, which is my replacement for that Zara dress that I mentioned, that yellow and white stripey one. I decided to buy this instead. <laughs> My all-time favorite dress, cannot go anywhere. This is ASOS, but from a different brand. It's Emily and Thin, I don't know. And this is um, a really nice skater dress. I love wearing this, again, for more like dressy occasions as well. My other all-time favorite dress in the red from H&M. You saw me styling this up in my lookbook. Um, so, yeah. This dress I already wore this year. This is from ASOS. It's a really nice red dress with like a tropical print. And then we have my infamous glamorous dress with the toucans, which I also love. And this is why I don't really mind getting rid of my monkey green, where did it go? Like the one with the pussy bow, that one. Because I feel that this is even more flattering on me. This is a very old dress. Oh, it's the other way around. Uh, this is a really old dress from uh, Forever 21. It's like the red H&M dress, but then in green. That's how it fits. And then this is a mango dress. So this is why I feel I can get rid of this Zara number. So this, we're good to go. We can get rid of this because I've got a star print mango pr uh, dress that it's essentially the same thing. And I've got this ditzy floral print one from Urban Outfitters. Like these are already too similar. I don't need three. And then this dress, it hurts me so much. It's way too small. It's been too small for years. <laughs> Um, because this is like, yeah, it's a size 38. I haven't been a size 38 since I was like, what, 24? So this sadly needs to go. Zara, uh, one of those like, I bought you in lockdown, haven't worn you yet kind of moments. And since I don't really wear, um, I have another gingham dress. Where did that go? Oh, it's more in the winter pile because I like it more in the winter. Uh, this is fully cotton. So I was like, this is really fun for the spring summer season, but. Haven't worn it yet. And then last but not least, we have this Urban Outfitters dress that I have had for years. Again, a really old one. I actually fixed it as well. I had to sew it back together because some of the buttons started to tear. Uh, that's how much I have worn it. Uh, it's sort of like the old rendition of those dresses I love so much. And then I have a similar style dress in a linen from H&M that I got last year. These are not gonna go anywhere. So, so far I found 12 dresses that I can definitely get rid of, maybe 13 if I count my Frida Kahlo dress. And I've got one more reel for you to go through. So these are my winter dresses. So they are thicker materials, darker florals, those kind of things. And then also all of my longer dresses, which is the category that I have definitely been more into in recent years, which is why I knew I could get rid of those. Um, so let me just get started. We've got some sweater dresses. I mean, it's summer, so who thinks of a sweater dress, but I only have two, so I'm going to keep both. I have this navy chenille number from Zara, and I have this cable knit high neck one from H&M that I like to wear with faux leather leggings in the wintertime. I've got this red number from H&M, which is really lovely, but it's got some pilling at the top, which is why I don't wear it. And I tend to just wear my other plain red dress with tights in the wintertime anyway, so I don't need to keep this around anymore. And I think it's also a bit small. Yeah, it's a size smaller than what I am now, so that can go. We have a separate category <laughs> within my winter dresses, which is velvet dresses. In fact, I've got one more. <laughs> Here we go. We also have a black one. So I have this black one from H&M, which is like a baby doll style with a very nice glittery sparkle to it. So I do want to keep that. This I got recently from River Island through ASOS. It's a really nice deep navy and I really wanted a navy velvet dress. And the reason why I wanted to own that is because I have one from Zara in a really nice emerald color. And then I have this burgundy one from Zara. These are Christmas time dresses, you guys, so. These are not going anywhere. However, I also have one in this mustardy gold yellow kind of really long vibe thing. And I remember buying this and going like, I'm either going to fully love it or I'm going to hate it. It has this really weird shoulder, like it has this shoulder detail, a bit like this, but then like very over exaggerated. And it has the cheapest looking gemstone kind of buttons. 
It's ASOS. It was like dirt cheap. I haven't worn it out yet, but I think it's so gaudy that it becomes cool. So I want to keep this. So this is my great ribbed dress that I like to just wear with cardigans. A bit like a sweater dress, really. This is another like shirt, really, that I just like to wear with leather tights. And then I have this dress, which used to be a Christmas dress. I used to own the same dress in a red from H&M and that got too small. This still fits, but I, I guess I'm just a bit over this kind of thing and I now have that emerald green dress anyways. So I think I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this. And then we've got some fun fall items. This is a corduroy dress because we all need a corduroy dress in our lives. So I'm gonna keep that. And then we've got the dark floral section. So I have this ASOS number, which is one of my favorites. I have this one from River Island, which is almost like a tapestry, tapestry style print, which I love. Uh, similar vibe, this is really old from Sayana. I got it on sale for seven euros. And this is the latest rendition, this is from Zara. It has this really nice like 80s vibe to it. Um, and then we also have, again, some black and white dresses in here. So I have my baby doll gingham dress, which is super short that I wear with tights and a uh, cardigan or a blazer in the winter time. Doc Martens and you're good to go. And then I've got these two. And this is a very heavy knit dress, so this is going to be perfect. This, that's Zara. This is H&M, and this is super old, and I just feel it's a bit worn out. It also shrank, so it's gotten shorter over time. That can go. And in this category, now we're getting to the long dresses. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything. Maybe one or two things, but most of these are quite recent for me. Uh, this is Urban Outfitters. This is, this is that skater dress style, but then long. This is current season H&M, but it's the long one. I think this sold out already. I already wore it. Really lovely dress. Pull and bear. It's that gray knit dress you just sold me holding it up, but then in a very long length. Uh, I really like this again with a chunky cardigan on top, and I really like this, these colors for the fall time. It's just stunning. Um, this is Monkey. This was on sale. It doesn't have a, this is the tie that goes around the waist. Um, but this is a really interesting uh, print. It's brown, but then it's got lilac flowers, so I thought it was pretty. Um, and then we have this green number, which I feel I can wear year-round. And then I've got my monkey dress that I showed you in my recent haul, which I have already worn. This Urban Outfitters dress I've shown you before on as well, which is nice, really long, and just stunning. This was in my recent haul. This is the really long mint green dress from Mango. I've got this monkey dress, like I really like monkey for dresses and I love this print. So, and this is super duper long. Like this is maxi on me. Love it. And then I've got my blue one from Mango with the paisley print. And then I have this one from H&M. This is current season and it's also again really long in this really nice like pale blue lavender and orange kind of floral print. It's like a viscose, really nice lightweight material. This is the lilac dress I'm keeping from Monkey. It's got this like ruching, very poofy sleeves and just the buttons down the front and this like shirt waistline. But this is a vintage dress with a pleated skirt. And then this one is from Zara and it's lovely. It's polyester though, so I know I will be wearing it. So something this long and just no. Um, and it's a bit of a shame because I haven't worn it out yet, but I've tried it on a couple of times and every time my decision was, it's too hot today. And in the winter time, I feel it's too cold. So this was just, I should look, should have looked more at the fabric when I bought this. Vintage dress that I have already worn again, keep. My, and other stories, um, cottage core vibe dress, keep. And my mango, no, monkey, yellow, really long ruched ruffle thing wrap dress, which is lovely too. And finally, my H&M cottage core square neckline full length dress that I got from the Wildflower collection. This is everything I'm going to get rid of. There's 18 dresses in this pile. 
I think I did pretty good. What do you think? So those were all of the dresses in my wardrobe. I know there are still way too many, but like I said, a dress is a full outfit. This takes, I can just wear dresses for the rest of my life and take me through every season. I'm very well aware, but you know, I, variety is the spice of life. So I also like some other things. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week, so hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.